Hello. Welcome to How to Collect and Store Pollen. You know, one of the problems that we have as hybridizers is having select pollens available to us when we wish to pollinate specific flowers. And uh, the best way to have pollens on hand so that we can make the cross pollinations that we wish to make is to collect the pollens ahead of time, dry them out, and freeze them. So what we're going to show you here is how to go about doing that so that you always have the pollens that you need available. The first thing to do is to gather your supplies and you'll need silica gel, Ziploc containers with snap-on lids, micro tubes with snap-on caps, pre-cut paper about three by four inches, marking pens, exacto knife. You could also um, have some tweezers as well that'll be helpful. Okay, the first illustration shows your supplies laid out, ready to go, and uh, what you should do is select some anthers beforehand and uh, make sure that they're separate and that you know which flowers they're from. Take your X-Acto knife and your tweezers and carefully remove pollen from those anthers onto the piece of folded paper. It'll make a little channel in the center. The pollen will fall into the channel. Fold your piece of paper up just a little bit, turn it on its side, and gently tap it into the microtube. Mark it with your marking pen. Make sure you have it named. And then leave the open tube in the silica gel inside the Ziploc container. Now you're going to have to leave it like that for a few days until the pollen is dry. Two or three days should do it. After you make sure that the pollen is dry, snap the lid on and then put the entire container into your freezer and leave it there until you need it for whatever pollinating project you're doing. Uh, at that time you must take them out of the refrigerator, roll them between your palms, warm them up a bit, and you're ready to go. You're ready to pollinate. 